you came across this question in your chemistry exam how will you solve it it is extremely very easy now let's solve together the question says neutral atom of neon neon is an element let's pull that in our mind with atomic number 10 wow this is also important as well they told us that the atomic number of neon is 10 have the same number of electron as that means they are actually trying to ask us which of these options have the same number of electron as neon they've given us the number of electrons of neon already though they did not directly and say that 10 is the number of electrons of neon that's the number of electrons of neon they did not say that but they gave us something which is the atomic number which is same as the proton number and which is same as the electron number for a neutral atom that is why they mentioned neutral atom so listen carefully an atom can be of two groups an atom can be either neutral listen carefully or can be either charged are you following me now for a neutral atom listen the proton number in that atom is same as the electron number whereby for a charged atom proton number is not equal to electron this equal to sign crossing it over means not equal to so what am i trying to say in an atom generally an atom is made up of three important subatomic particles which i call pain protons electrons and neutrons so i'm talking about just the proton and electron leave neutrons alone for now i already have video lessons that explains all of these concepts so it's important to go watch that video on my channel so on this what do we do next i just explained to you guys that the neutral for a neutral atom proton number and electron number they are the same whether for a charged atom they are not and they mention neutral atom of neon so our mind we are focusing on neutral atom of what neon you know in the periodic table neon is an element that belongs to the group eight family called the noble gases or red gases or inert gases or even we call them aerogens do you understand they are the group eight elements and neon is one of them but i'm not talking about that what i'm talking about is, is solving this question now we have to still understand something again about this concept listen carefully now i just explained that now they gave us something because generally this how an atom looks like mathematically here is x here is a and here is z here is a and here is z I've, I've done this in so many video lessons here on my youtube channel i've i've explained or solved so many questions under this particular aspect diverse ways questions can be asked so go watch all of those videos the videos will be in a playlist so you just go to my playlist and search for those videos and make sure you watch them so on this a has a name z has its own name a is simply called listen now looking at this stuff drawn is it neutral or charged it is neutral why it does not have a charge i did not put plus or minus if i've written plus or minus say this is going to be a charged atom are you following me it's very easy so let's just remove our mind from this first of all so here is a here is a a has a name a is called atomic mass a is called atomic mass or we can as well call it mass number pull that in your mind or we can as well call it nucleon number so these are the three possible names for a what about z this is where i want to I want you guys to pay attention z is called atomic number or we can as well call it proton number so guys what i'm trying to say here is this so you can see that i called z okay atomic number and did they give us atomic number in this question for neon yes you know neon is represented as ne but i'm not talking about the symbol now just know that the atomic number of neon is 10 put that in your mind and what's your other name for atomic number proton number so automatically the proton number the proton number for neon is what 10 since the atomic number is 10 automatically as well the electron number for neon should be 10 because for a neutral atom of neon which i'm talking about now Proton and electron, they are the same. So electron number is 10. So they're not asking us, look at all of these options. Which of them now have the same 10 electron as neon? Which of the options has same 10 electrons as neon? We have to check. We have to check and I'll teach you how to check it. Simple like ABCD. Okay guys, to do that, we have to do something. Look at the options given to us. Now we have to now have to, now we have to remember the periodic table, the first 20 elements. 
We have to write out the atomic numbers of each of them. It's simple now. It's very easy. Atomic number is like how the number is written in the periodic table. How they are arranged in the periodic table. Do you understand? That's what atomic number is all about. So on this, potassium, what number in the periodic table does potassium belong to? That's the question. You have to know that we have hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, and calcium. Do you understand? I just read the first 20 element. It's simple. So then I can assign numbers to them. Potassium and calcium. Potassium and calcium. This is potassium. Potassium is number 19 in the periodic table. Please follow. It's simple. I believe you know these stuff. I'm going to put them on the screen so you just look at the atomic numbers of the first 20 elements. Because all of these are in the first 20 elements. Magnesium is one number. Magnesium is number 12. I know. You know too. Magnesium is number 12. Calcium is the last, like, is the, is the 20th element. So, calcium is number 20. Oxygen, what number does oxygen belong to in the periodic table? Oxygen is number 8. Yes, I know. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, number 8. Do you understand? So, on this, the options that have 10 electrons as neon, and to do that is simple. Now, all of these atoms, are they charged or neutral? They are charged. There is, since proton number and electron number are not the same, because we already know that to get a proton number, it is the number that is down. Do you understand? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is number that is down. Remember I said that this is an atom, A, A and Z, whereby Z is the atomic number or proton number. Hope you understand what I'm saying. Atomic number is always located down in an atom, whereby mass number is up. And this is also called the proton number. Do you understand what I just said? It is simple. So on this, what do we do next? We have to now then calculate the electron number for each of the atoms. But we already know that they are not neutral, they are all charged. So for a charged atom, how do we calculate the electron number? Because proton number and electron number are not the same. If they were the same, I will not calculate. I will just say, okay, since my proton number is so, 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 my electron number is the same number. Do you understand? But now, electron number should be calculated. And the formula is simply proton number minus charge. Proton number minus charge. So for option A, which is potassium, let's calculate the electron number. Simple. Electron number, because what is proton number? It is 19. Yes, it is 19. Why? Proton number, atom number is the value down we've then done that minus we are trying to work towards 10 do you understand we are trying to work towards 10 which which of them had the same electron number to be or uh, that of neon which is 10 uh, uh electron do you understand what i'm saying so uh, 19 minus charge the charge is you know when you have plus written alone it means plus one so it's going to be bracket plus one automatically we're having what you know when minus times plus we are getting minus hope you know that Okay, 19 minus 1 is equal to 18. So, is, is does this uh, potassium have 10 electrons? No, it does not. It has 18 electrons. So, option A is not the answer to the question. So, let's move over to option B. For option B, let's check. It's going to be um, magnesium. Wow. It looks like magnesium. The answer is looking like magnesium. So, it's going to be E is got the proton minus charge as well. Whereby, electron will not be equal to what's the proton? 12. You already know that this is proton 12 minus charge plus 2 is equal to minus times plus minus still right so it's going to be 12 minus 2 and that is 10 this is the answer to the question this is the ion that has the same electron number as neon which is 10 electrons so when 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 atoms have the same numbers of electrons they are regarded to be isoelectronic to each other what are they called they are regarded to be what isoelectronic to each other they call it isoelectronic series. They call it what isoelectronic what series. It is different from what we call isotopes, different from what we call isobar. This is what isoelectronic series. Whenever atoms, you know, of different elements, now they are different elements. This is magnesium, this is neon, have the same numbers of electron. It's called isoelectronic series. Do you understand? So of why option C and D can be the answer. Do you understand? So guys, we've come to the end of this video lesson. If you found my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share this lesson with your friends. So have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions. I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, 
this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen